Shalom, my king, Yisrael, Yohanan Thunder, I will be with you here once again, y'all, for Hebrews and Christians. This will probably be my final um, video release for the broadcast from over here in the east part of Africa. I just want to give a brief, uh, how you going, man? Shalom, shalom. I just want to get a, a, just a brief insight about COVID history here. So the president, Marga Fooley, was definitely against COVID. He in announced to the world on February the 2nd, 2021, that he was not supporting his country taking, uh, being mandated for any uh, vaccines. Uh, he actually had his uh, <clears throat> health minister, they took samples of fruits and different other kind of items and they came back positive for COVID. So he knew, he knew it was a sham anyway. He knew this whole thing about vaccines and COVID was a sham and a lie. So anyway, he was against it, but lo and behold, by March 18, 2021, he was dead. He was dead, as well as I think hundreds of his cabinet members. So they definitely have a history of being anti-COVID. And of course, the vice president, uh, her name is Samia Hassan, accepted it because for her life's sake, I'm sure. And on TV, national TV, she went on have got both the shots and the boost and all that. So um, I did not have to get any kind of testing or anything at all. No shots, anything when I came over here. I didn't do any of that. But I just want to um, put that out there about how this nation, um, Tanzania and Zanzibar, is a very friendly place for... Um, now here we're worrying about masks and vaccinations and COVID and all that. Anyway, Shalom Alakim, peace be on you.